Hello, it's Basil. Hello. Let me turn the mic up. Hello, Basil Butler. Welcome to uh, the old um, Basil's Basil's Secret Underground Dark Stream. I've written it down on the pad over there, so I can't remember. I can't remember what it's called. Basil's Secret Underground Dark Stream. I kept calling it Basil's Secret um, Dark Underground Stream. Uh, but. Uh, it's not. It's Basil's secret underground dark stream. I've got a new camera. Does it look? It was going. It was going all out. Of it's uh, it's meant to focus. Uh, it was going. It was going all uh, out of focus earlier. But it's right. It seems right now. New camera. Uh, so I should be looking uh, excellent on the on the on. I'm on the moon. I'm on the moon again. Okay, now let's have a look at the. Uh, let's have a look who's who's. Um... Hello, hello, Harry Norman. Harry Norman. Uh, uh, Mac, Mac, Beth, Rob, um, uh, JC Escapades. Uh, actually, I should, I should, I should just read the news. Uh, Buckers, Becky, Miz. Hello, Baz. Hello, Becky, uh, Miz. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, I didn't, I didn't read what people were saying. Just read their names out. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you're looking well. Hello, Basil. Uh, that was Harry Norman. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 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 I haven't done a very good job reading this out, have I? Uh, hello. Uh, I said hello, didn't I? Uh, as you see. Uh, uh, anyway, basically, it's hello. It's hello all round. Hello, uh, Sister Tracy's here as well now. Sister Tracy's uh, joined in. And uh, I know. Uh, she says, uh, I know I'm a bit scared. Uh, it was Gav there as well. Someone said Gav, but I can't see Gav. Maybe he's there as well. I didn't see him anyway. Uh, uh, glad I can be here tonight, and uh, my Wi-Fi wi is working well. That's uh, that's Harry Norman. Don't be scared. JC Escobar says to um, uh, Sister Tracy, "Don't be scared. Don't be scared." Gav Cross is here. Hello, Gav Cross. I, I missed it. I missed his um. There he is. I am. There's Gav Cross. A lovely, uh, lovely man. Just trying to um, get my glasses straight. I have to wear glasses for reading, uh, Gav. So, uh, what do you think? Just about. It's a terrible job in Specsavers getting them to uh, get them to um, find a pair that fitted me. Anyway, hello, uh, hello, uh, Bobby Chump. Bobby Chump, uh, Bobby Chump's here. here. I, I, um, the game I was playing that were finished last week with a, with a little old lady. Okay, I've got, got a phone call. Hello, caller. Hello, Basil. Hello, hello. It's, Who's calling, please? It's Dave Edwards. It's Dave Edwards. Your number one fan, Captain. Hello, 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 Captain. Nice to hear from you, David. It's, it's nice to hear your warm tones coming through the phone, certainly. That make my show look very lazy. You've got a whole brand thing going there. You've got the earth in the background. You've yep. got your own um, iconography, Captain. Very, oh, very impressive. I'm, I'm on very the moon. Indeed. Yeah, it took me ages to get all, the, get all the graphics. I've got a new camera. It's, I'm, I'm, wow. glad, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, God, it's brilliant. Too bloody perb, mate. Absolutely loving it. Well, if you need if you need any tips, David, I'll uh, I'll, I'll get in the car, come down to Arundel, and I'll show you how to uh, set it all up. Get get your name on the screen. Honestly, let's make that happen. Um, I'll take the Swanbourne part. We'll feed some ducks. Can you we know, get half a loaf of hovers each? Portion of tri chips. Around the castle. In, oh yeah, around the castle. Into trawlers for a portion of chips. God, you, have you been to Arundel? You know trawlers. Yeah, se me. several times. I've been in. I've been in the castle. I've been in that place just down the road from the castle. You know where they have all the ducks? Yes, I do. Yes, Swanbourne Park. Oh yes, um, the wildfowl trust. The wildfowl trust. Endangered... That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Lovely in there. Absolutely. Yeah, we could uh, go to the wildfowl trust, feed some of the uh, the red-footed Canadian uh, woodpeckers or whatever they're called. Then you've got the uh, the black rabbit. I could buy you a Guinness. You're a Guinness man. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I drink most things. I, I can't at the moment. I've got a bloody uh, gum infection. 
So I'm on oh, an- gosh, that's anti- not good during lockdown. What happens with a gum infection? Then? Is it just really sore? Or? Yeah, it's sort of very, very painful. It's like a bad toothache, and the gum's all swollen up. But I've got antibiotics, so I can't drink uh, alcohol. Oh, blimey, God, that's a handful, isn't it? It's a pain in the arse. It's just, it's right when you need alcohol, you can't have it. Nightmare. That really is a real handful, isn't it? Yeah, and I've got... What pa- happens if you have alcohol or antibiotics? Do you just become incredibly ill, just I, sick? I, I think you die. No, I probably, um, I, I think... Well, Sister Tracy's in the chatting box. I think it's, um... I think it stops them working, for one thing. I don't think they work properly. Because I think, I think oh the antibiotic God. spends all its time attacking the alcohol instead of the um, gums. Right, well, avoid the alcohol like a hole in the head, sir, and uh, keep on the antibiotics. How, is the actual gums healing now? Because that sounds horrific. Well, yeah, it's quite, it's, the swelling is starting to go down. I've been on the pills for about three days. So, uh, and I've got, but, I, but I've also got pus coming out of my foot, which is uh, also painful. Is that are they connected? Has has the uh, the mouth rock gone through the body to the foot? I don't know. I, I, or I go- are they two different things? I googled it. I googled um, uh, any any foot and uh, gum uh, connection, but I couldn't find one. So I think they're independent. Because I mean that's several feet away. I mean you can't get more distance than the mouth and the actual foot. So that would be bad luck, wouldn't it? Pus as well, pal. That really is a handful, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of lot of pain at the top of the body and the bottom. All the middle is uh, perfect. Well, about perfect. Yeah, you've got to you've got to be optimistic. You that's, know, it's that it. pint of milk half full or half empty. You're quite right. Just, it's only just, the, uh, uh, just concentrate on the torso. Yeah, no, you're completely right. I completely agree. It's lovely to, to be and talk to people. It's lovely to hear from you. Uh, it's, I've got on the screen. It's got React and it's got a little flashing heart. What happens if I click on it? Oh, it's a little. Uh, uh, I don't know. This is on Skype. It's a. Uh, I'll put a thumbs up. See what that. Is. See, you've got a thumbs up now above your above your. Oh, arm. let's have a look. Well, you can't see it. It's on oh, my Skype. Big stuff. Oh, can you see it on your screen? I don't think I can oh. actually. Not not at the moment. Anyway, it's, but, a bit, um, it's a bit boring for everyone but, else. Sure, you've really sorted yourself out, aren't you? That gum disease and uh, pus spraying out the leg hasn't stopped your IT skills. I mean, mine is just lazy. It's just a webcam on. But, I mean, doing that was a massive challenge. Yeah, I know you've had a bit of trouble with uh, setting it up, haven't you? Oh, How? I'm, I'm no good at that at all. How's the, um, uh, the golf coming along? Any chance of uh, seeing some golf? Oh, yes. There is talk of that, that um, uh, David might have actually uh, worked out how to... So there is potential for that to actually finally get that off the ground, which would be great fun. I'd really look forward to that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I am looking forward. I, I, saw, I saw you on, uh, on the uh, Twitch trying to get it working, but it, yeah. we couldn't hear you, David. Couldn't hear you. I know. It's like I think what's so frustrating is we're so near to pulling it off. Like... Yeah. GI golfing man in the background wearing his very, you know, je ne sais quoi golf outfit. It's all there, but you just can't hear the audio. And then there was a delay as well. I mean, do you know, I thought I had my finger on the eye. You had your finger on the. Sorry, sorry, you cut out, David. You had your finger on, finger on the what? Uh, what? You've gone again? What, what, was your, what, was your, what was your finger? You keep cutting out. What was your finger on? Um. IT Pulse. Ah, IT on the Pulse. the IT Information Technology Pulse. Here we go. This is, this is perhaps better. Um, yeah, I, I used to celebrate, well, not celebrate, but sort of think to myself, you know, oh, I know what's happening with IT. But yeah. these last few weeks doing Twitch and just generally with webcam, I haven't got a clue. You know, I thought Zoom was just something you did with a bloody camera. I didn't know it was some kind of, like, you know, telecommunication software. And it, and so it was I, a lolly I, as well, wasn't it? It used to be a lolly once. Oh, Ice lolly. Very true. Yeah. Now you're speaking my language. That's what a Zoom is. Yeah, absolute a, kind of a mixture of flavours on the old tongue, wasn't that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've got what? What is it? Um, hang on. I've got to scroll back. Uh, Mx. Have you, have you bought an Ethernet Ethernet lead yet? Ethernet cable for your uh, uh, what's it? Computer. Uh, the, the internet. Basically, um, I've held back because. I spent loads of money on a Wi-Fi adapter. It's like a uh, new Japanese one I, I got imported in, and everyone told me to buy it. 
and it hasn't really done brilliantly. And yes, an Ethernet is definitely the next move I'm going to make. I managed to find one, uh, but annoyingly, it's not long enough to go from the laptop to the actual uh, plug because oh, the dear. plug's by the front door, and it's literally like, um, I don't know, from my knee to my toe, that's, that's my measurement. That's how I sort of uh, measure things in my life, body parts, like a serial killer, really. And it's a case of I just couldn't get it into the plug. Could you, so frustrating. Could you not pick up your laptop and just walk nearer to the plug? Or is you got a special desk for it? I th what you've just said could, you know, as I said earlier, you are the IT maestro. Yeah, you know, you've got your finger on the IT pulse. Uh, so, yeah, I'm uh, a, I, I've, 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 um, I've built a rocket. Uh, and uh, so, so doing uh, Twitch is a piece of cake. You built a rocket, what, like one you let off in a garden that goes into the air? No, it's a huge rocket. I can get inside it. I intend to launch myself uh, into space one day. Wonderful stuff. You've got to have your hobbies. You've got to have your goals. So that's at the top of the bucket list, entering the stratosphere. 20 years I've been building it. And where is it? In your garden? It's in the garden. Yeah, it's in the garden. It's, uh, there's a shed but it's, uh, there's a massive hole, like a silo, underneath the shed, and the, the rocket sits down there, like, like when they launch uh, the uh, nuclear missiles. But it's not, uh, it's harmless. Well, it'd probably kill and me. But... Will, will, um, will it just be you or your, um, your good partner going as well? Yeah, I'd like, I'd like a co-pilot. It's got, a, it's got a, a, a two seats, and it's got a, you know, it's got a... a um, it's, it, I think it's too heavy. That's the problem of. Uh, I, it's not going to get off. I think I've put too many rooms in it. It's not just. It's got a toilet. Uh, it's got a bedroom. Or, or I, I call it the copulation pod. It's. Uh, it's Goodness it's, me! Yeah, can, well, it's a science. It's isn't like it? a wet. It's, like... it's a wet room, really. You can wash it all down. It's. It's. Uh, for oh, hygiene. Perfect, perfect stuff. It makes you wonder what intercourse would be like without any gravity. Because I'd have thought intercourse, you know, to get a rhythm and some kind of movement. Uh, without sounding crude, you know, you would need, um, you know, gravity there, you know, just floating around like ghosts trying to kiss each other, but then going past each other. I think you'd have to find a corner maybe and rest against. I'm, I'm being glued now. I don't mean to be. I no, no, not at all. I, 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 I did think about that. I've got Velcro straps. Oh, brilliant. So it shouldn't be a so problem. So kind of outer space NASA uh, sex swing type of vibe. If you like. Brilliant. That, that's absolutely superb. So you have the copulation room, yep. which, you know, Pod. that's going to be, um, I can imagine that being a late night Channel 4 show. You want to sign that up yeah. to a production company. Then you've got the toilet. Uh, once again, does the toilet have gravity or could you be on the toilet and find yourself rising? Well, I haven't, I haven't, I, I mean, I've got a lovely uh, Luro, hol Luro holder in there, but I haven't worked out um, what happens when you flush it yet. Or how to keep the God, water in there. I mean, yeah, you're right about the... I mean, it's all right if the lid's on. If, if you've got a watertight lid, it's when you lift it up to use the toilet and all the water comes out, that's going to be a problem. It's quite surreal, isn't it? If you look at space documentaries, water does go into these, like, clear, like, circular bubbles mm. and go to the top. i tell you something. I, I don't want to in any way create any domestic disharmony or feel as though I'm sort of turning this into a networking opportunity. But, I mean, if you're... Um, lady partner didn't like the idea of space power i'd be very up i imagine there's an interview process not anyone's going to go up with you but i would definitely be interested in um getting involved with that massively i'll put you i'll put you down on the list if, if she uh if she, if she she is refusing uh to go in it so so um so it, it, you've got a good chance i think david you could be in the old uh copulation pod before you know it I'd be totally up for that, absolutely. I'd happily take, you know, cleaning duties before and after and just, you know, really get involved. So what else? Will we have separate bedrooms or would it be like a bunk bed situation, like in a submarine, like Dan's No, you just, you, we just have to sleep in the uh, copulation pod. It's a, it's a multi-purpose pod, like, like a bedroom. That makes sense. I mean, yeah, that, that makes absolute sense. So what else have you got? So you've got the toilet, the copulation pod. I imagine, imagine the cockpit. It's got the cockpit, yeah, we'll of course. Yeah. Steer that around. 
any sort of like a living room or some kind of games room or well, I guess the games room would be the copulation room again. Well, it's not there's but there's a there's a big empty void. That a, do you know because you know, rockets they have the uh, cockpit at the top, they have the engines at the bottom, and there's all this length of um, well, there's fuel tanks, I suppose, obviously, but there's still a lot of uh, spare room. I think they have to Perfect. make they have, they have to make them a certain length uh, according to uh, Google because I've done a lot of studying. I didn't just go into it and just didn't stop whacking up a rocket without um, googling it first and uh, there's a section in the middle that's uh, it's just there to make up the length I think because the rocket has to be a certain length otherwise it's too wobbly how high is your rocket what sort of um, height is I'm six foot three so how many of me oh uh, about 20 of you I should think Oh my God! It's you massive. Sound like a bloody mansion. It's massive. It's a like massive. Trump rock. towers in and uh, outer space. Oh, well, that sounds brilliant. We'll be like Jack Nicholson in The Shining. We'll just be wandering around corridors trying to write a novel. Yeah. Yeah. I that mean, sounds. Uh, that sounds perfect. So what will happen? We'll go up. We'll see Earth. Yeah, I'm. A t- and then what will we? Well, will well, we I want to get to the. I want to get to the moon if I can. I'd, I'd like to do a, a couple of laps of the moon. Wow, that'd be bloody brilliant, mate. Sign me up, sign me up. I'm well up for that. Also, do you have space outfits though? Have you designed I've, that when we actually get out the shuttle? I've got what I've, I've got. I've got my spacesuit, which is um, unfortunately I, I, I've had it a long time and I've put on weight and I can hardly fit in it. But um, I, I can still just about get in it. But the other one is meant. The other spacesuit I've made is for a woman. It's uh, so I'm not sure whether it would suit you. Honestly, when it comes to space, it, fashion's not important whatsoever. I wouldn't worry about having a slight um, beer gut in, a, in an astronaut suit. I think even Armstrong had a bit of a Homer Simpson posture on him. So, I mean, you just want to give it a bit more girth type of thing. Uh, but I wouldn't... I, if it, the uh, astronaut suit's pink, you know, and it's got a few frills on it, not a problem. As long as I'm safe, that's the key thing. Space doesn't care about gender. It cares about oxygen, doesn't it? You know, to keep yourself alive. No one can hear you scream anyway. So yes. They say. Quite right. As the old um, alien saying is. So, um, yeah, God, mate, I'd be well up for this. You're not playing around, are you? You do have a rocket. And oh, yeah, there is a possibility. I've got, got, got the rocket. Well, I've got a problem is I'm going to be moving house um, sometime, um, hopefully, uh, in the next few months, I hope. And um, it's, it's, it's um, I mean, moving all your furniture is one thing, but... But getting them to take a rocket that size is going to be a problem. That's going to be a massive problem, isn't it? Yeah, but... Um... Are you, you're not going to leave it there, are you? Oh, you're no, not going no, to take no, no, it. No, no. Yeah, good. Yeah, absolutely. I was hoping... What that... do the neighbours think of it? Because it must be like an Eiffel, a Abs- miniature they... Eiffel Tower. Absolutely hate it. It's... Uh... Uh, because because the pa- it's powered by uh, manure, I've managed to... Um, um, uh, so it's green. It's a green uh, green energy. I've, I've managed to, to harness the power of manure uh, to power the rocket, but it takes a lot of manure. So I've got tons, thousands of tons probably of it all, all at the end of the garden, and you can imagine the smell. So the neighbours are always complaining about that. Dear God, and it's powered on manure. I tell you, pal, you want to get the patents for that. I mean, someone like um, Richard Branson would absolutely love that. I mean, you know. You should take that uh, shuttle to bloody Brighton, pal, down the road from where I am. It's left wing, let's go green, 24-7 central. Right, You'd be yeah. like a god. You'd really? Be the king type of thing. They'd love it. I'd love it. I'd love to be a Brighton god. God, absolutely. And I'd be a Brighton hanger on it, buddy. Don't worry about that. Lovely. Have you ever thought about going to Dragon's Den with it? Because, I mean, you know, a eco-friendly shuttle, because space tourism is going to be the next big thing. You know, people are getting bored of Butlins and Centre Park. They want something new. And I think, you know, the moon will be definitely the next tourist zone. Oh, yeah, it will be. Well, I mean, I mean we'll, we'll, eventually the, the, the planet will be, uh, won't be able to live here, will we? So we'll have to find somewhere else to live. Unless we can bizarre, change ourselves, it? yeah, it's going to be. Uh, unless we can um, turn into sort of uh, sort of uh, weird underground people and just tunneling around like worms and live under there. Who knows? Possibility, it's, um, isn't it? Yeah, I, mean, I have what, to ask Charles you think Darwin. It's going to get hotter and hotter, and there's going to be like um, tsunami tidal waves. And it's just going to become like environmentally unsteady. Oh yeah, I think. Well, one day the sun will sun will um, uh, be gone, won't it? And that that'll be that. 
But um, yeah, it's going to be just be long before that. It's going to be um, too polluted. I've, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Be too hot, too cold. Who well, knows? the description of living in caves, basically, the wombles is going to become a reality. That's what you're saying, isn't that? Yeah, I suppose I am. Wombles. So we just live off the litter. Oh yeah. No, you know, I, was, um, I was thinking more of underground, more, more, you know, like a mole. Jesus, blind. That's that's a frightening vision. That's that's a proper dystopia. That is. Yeah. Battle. I mean, you know, especially um, I get claustrophobic very, very quickly. Um, I guess I could be a sort of an anaconda man. I'm quite, you know, like a stick. I'd go in and out. But um, that would be horrific. And I guess through evolution, we're better see in the dark after a while. I'll just eat a lot oh, yeah. of carrots. Although I don't think you need to worry. I mean, it won't happen in your lifetime, uh, David. I think you'll be uh, long dead. You, you actually, you might be in the ground uh, but, um, by then, but, but dead. Gosh, well, I hope so. I really, I really do. Well, I don't like to think are of you, you being a, um, dead. Are you a, a... Sorry, go for it, Basil. Sorry, you go no, for I it, No, I just said I don't like to think of you being dead and uh, in the ground. Well, that was what I was going to say next. For some reason in bed, and I, don't, I feel as I can share this with you, I was thinking, um, what are you? Are you a coffin man or a cremation man? Have you decided which one you're going to go for, which I, side of the coin? I can't make my mind up. I've, I've always really preferred uh, the idea of uh, buried. Uh, yes. But then you, you see films where, they, where they're buried alive and there's some weird uh, medical reason and um, they wake up. In the under the ground and, and they scratch and scratch at the uh, the coffin lid and uh, it's, it's horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Some people because they're so paranoid about that and rightly so. Just in person waking up in a box six foot under um, is they have a little bell, don't they, to ring just in case they do wake up and they were just in a very intense sleep and no one could find their pulse. Then they wake up, you know, quite. They, well, Energized, they, right? Would, let's start the day, but they're in a box. Would you hear a bell from right down there? No, I, but the, the thing is, um, the bell would be next to the gravestone. Ah, so yeah, device. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Clever. But no, I mean, I didn't think about that. I wouldn't have just mentioned that in my uh, in my instructions. They'd have just put a bell in the coffin with me. And you're quite right, that would be no good. Even if you've got a bloody megaphone, no one's going to hear you over six feet of earth. I think I definitely um, wouldn't go over a coffin. I'd be cremated. I mean, in a coffin, you know, a big, long coffin, and you know, I just don't I don't like the idea of it at all. For some reason, I mean, yeah, it's ridiculous because I won't be um, conscious or alive, but um, I think cremation all the way for me, and then sprinkled off a mountain or... Uh, or a Viking's funeral, that's what I want. Viking's funeral, uh, me on a raft, lots of fireworks attached to me, set fire, and then I go down the river. Perhaps someone with a, um, a saxophone following me along doing a solo or something like that. Like a Viking's uh, funeral. Absolutely like a Viking's funeral. You know, burnt like a captain in the middle. You know, a bit of a celebration. Then everyone can go off, have a buffet, you know, a big platter of cheese and sandwiches. But um, definitely want to be burnt. It goes without saying. I, I don't want to find myself under the ground. Do you worry about waking up though in the uh, in the coffin, just as it's about to um, be burnt? I suppose it'd be quick though, wouldn't it? It would be, but that would be a nightmare as well. Yeah. You know, what would be awful is if there's only part of you awake, and God, this is getting quite dark, isn't it? But you couldn't reach out and tell them, but you just saw the match being lit. Basically, it'd be like a medieval witch death, wouldn't it? It would be. That's what they did yeah. to witches. They did, yeah. They used to witches, burn, um, burn witches. They used to burn the cats as well. Perfect. The poor the poor cat. Bad enough burning a witch, but burning a cat as well. Really and truly, I, they used to burn the cat as well. So even back there, the black cat was the sign of the witch. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. The cat used... would be attached to a very small stake and then next to the cat the witch would be like next to the, with on a stake of her own i think they Bloody put the else. cat in a basket uh, rather than a stake it was like a, it was flipping a, heck. it's a bit awkward trying we to... don't know how lucky we are i don't know what's better you know uh, the mole living in the hole the human mole or going back in time to the medieval era you know with the whole witch fiasco that um i mean you know people you get your head cut off well they, it'd be like a Getting your head cut off in the medieval time was like X Factor or Ant and Deck, wasn't it? It was like that was your weekend entertainment. You'd turn up, chuck onions at this person yeah. because they'd been inappropriate in some way, and um, then having their head cut off. 
roll into a basket, all done. That's your weekend fun. Get back to farming. What do you think about a crazy uh, period? What do you think about the guillotine? If you had to be um, uh, killed in some way, would you choose a guillotine? I think I fancy. I quite fancy the guillotine. Absolutely, definitely the guillotine. I mean, you know, it'd be horrific the work up to it, a real, real nightmare. But it's just instant, bang, it's like a TV being turned off. You know, this idea, I mean, some of the medieval tortures they had, you know, what, what was it, the rack? Oh, yeah. Stretching your body and stuff like that. No, 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 yeah, definitely a clean blade over the head. It'd be quite embarrassing if it was true, like, you know, when they cut chickens off, but you still wander around with a head. I wouldn't like that. That would be quite undignified. It would be. But well, you're probably going to shit yourself as well. That would be undignified anyway, isn't it? So you might as well get... You know, what's, what's worse, shitting yourself and pissing yourself or getting up and walking about? Definitely getting up and walking about. Definitely. You... Absolutely. You know, perhaps put on a bit of a show for them. Yeah. Uh, but the idea of, like, public defecation or urination, it doesn't, doesn't matter if you are, like, a caveman or a mole in the future living in the hole. Um, it's just it's just a don't do, isn't it? You know what I mean? Doing that in public. Um and you haven't got any sumo wrestler nappies on. You literally just saw your pants. Yeah, huh. I, I just wouldn't. I, I prefer to wander around that head. Definitely. I just it's had, all about putting things into perspective, isn't it? It is. I just had a thought about um, uh, cremation or, or burial. Um, if I don't get my rocket up into space, then um, cremation and then my ashes could be put into a, like a big firework rocket and I could be fired up into, into the sky or better still uh, sent into space. If I don't make it alive, I could make it in ash form into space. Basically, you've always got to have a plan B, you yeah. know, and to make sure that, you know, it might be, you know, post bucket list thing. But um, I think some celebrities, did David Bowie have his ashes shot out into space? I don't know. I'll have to Google that. Yeah, I don't so I know. Think you'd be, you know, you'd be in a, quite an exclusive club of people. Oh, I'd love as your to. Your ashes go into love gravity, that. go into the outer realm. Well, if David Bowie's out, up there, then I definitely because I'm I'm a massive fan of David Bowie. I'd love I'd love my ashes to be circling the planet forevermore, intermingled with uh, David Bowie's. God, that would be beautiful, wouldn't that? Yeah. Just uh, you and Bowie's ashes, kind of the star man himself, kind of. Uh, Ground control to Major Tom, flipping it. I'm jealous, you know. I would once again. I seem to be trying to push my way into your project. <laughs> I'm, you know, even if you go before me, I'm sure we could work out something where I can get my ashes, and um, you know, somehow do something so I, you know, I can also be chucked out into space with David Bowie. I mean, it's just too much of an opportunity, do you know what I mean? Uh, not to miss. Yeah, I'd be very much up for that. Well, let's, let's make it a date. I'll, I'll, I'll see you in the, uh, wherever it is, uh, in, in orbit. Yeah, God, yeah. Absolutely. It, <laughs> it has to be said. Well, Pat, I do not want to hug the, uh, the phone line because I think you've got people that are raring. You can, you can hug like it. You are, one you, time. you are hugging it, literally hugging the uh, phone line in, in, a, in a lovely way. Although it's, it's good of you to say, but uh, you know, like uh, the first day at school, when you are hugging your mother, just wanting her not to leave, I'm being dragged away, kicking and screaming like a shrieking toddler. But it's important that others get to play with uh, Basil Butler. I hope I haven't been on too long. No, by course, the way. Of course not. You can stay on as long as you like. It's been lovely to hear from you. Basil, it's been an absolute wonder. I didn't know about the whole astronaut aspiration, and I definitely want a slice of that pie. Keep me in mind, please. Uh, and good luck. I will do. Well, thanks very much. Can I can I cut you off now? Absolutely. Yes. Au sir. Take care of yourself, buddy. You too. Take care. Bye, Bye, David. There he goes. I've cut him off. Cut him off. Push, push the... Uh, I, should have, I should have cut him off in mid-sentence. It would have been... Uh... That was... Uh... Oh, that was lovely, wasn't it? I, I, sorry, I haven't been reading... I haven't been reading the... Um, the chatting uh, area. Because... Because um, I was busy. Because I was busy chatting away with David. David Edwards. It was really nice of him to... Uh, love, lovely man. Big fan of the... Um, of the twitches, isn't he? He, he does. Uh, he does his twitch. He, he's a. Uh, he, uh, he's, he's, he's involved with, with David Earl and and, uh, and uh, Charles the robot. Oh yeah, Char, Char, talking about talking about Charles the robot. Char, um, uh, most people, most people, I think listening. Um, maybe not most people. But some people listening will um, 
So I, I'm trying to read and uh, talk. Uh, multitasking and um, I hope, hope the picture's. I hope the sounds alright. And I forgot to ask: is the picture and the um, uh, the sound alright? Because I've got a new camera, and I, I never know whether the uh, I never know whether the mic's the right. I've got I've got water. Just water. Can't can't um can't have alcohol. Mm. Hang on, let's just see what this is. Hello, caller. Hello, caller. Good evening, Basil. Who's calling, please? It's Healthy Pig Face. Healthy Pig Face. Hi, how are you doing? Right, very well, thank you. I've just been chatting with uh, David Edwards. Yeah, that that was nice. That was very, very nice. Oh, you, you, you sound nice like a nice butt. No? I, I sound like I've got a nice butt. <laughs> well, maybe. But, you know, you said nice as if you were going to say but, but something. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was nice. Um, Yeah, I, I feel torn. Um, I think all the talk of um, cockpits and and uh, copulation pods has got me... I, I feel something stirred deep within me because... Oh dear. Earlier I saw that Gav had joined the chat and obviously you know that's where my heart lies and um, that was the cause of the pants falling down a couple of weeks ago. Oh yeah. But then I but then I heard things with David and obviously he's he's never been of interest to me because of my friend Beth but I feel different now. I I heard that he was uh, 6 foot 3 inches tall and now I'm instantly pregnant. Really? Yeah. Is that the exact height that you like a man, six three? Yeah. Yeah, and I, I never thought that this would happen. Six point three or, or six foot three? Oh did oh was it six foot three? Mm. Oh I like six point three. Ah. Oh, sorry, it must be a, I don't think I am pregnant. Six point three. <laughs> Slightly oh. just a tiny bit above average. Sorry, Basil, I feel I've wasted your time. It's six point three that I like. Oh, so fair um, enough. I guess maybe things could well, okay. Well my heart is still with, with Gav then. I Good. Think I'm so. sure Gav will be pleased to hear. Okay, wonderful. Well um sorry about that. That was no, worried for a minute. No, don't, don't worry. You really helped me. Good. Call any time. I'm here to help. Okay, well I'll be praying for you and your tooth. Oh thank you very much. Yeah yes yeah, so, so I'm on the antibiotics. It's uh it's getting a bit better now. Good. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Well, thank you so much. Um, I'll thank speak to thank you, soon, you healthy uh, uh, pig face. Go, go and uh, tell tell Gav how much you, uh, you you fancy him in the old chatting thing. May I? Um, uh, well, I have a few words, but I'll save them for another time. Fair enough. Thank you so much. Thank you. Love always. Bye bye. Bye. Uh, there, we, there we are. That was a uh, healthy pig face. Healthy pig face. Um, uh, right. What have I? What have I? Um, what does that do? Uh, oh, I was, what was going to play a game. How long have I been going for? Thirty-five minutes. Well, most of that was uh, was uh, David Edwards, wasn't it? Lo lovely to hear him. I've got. Um, I've got. What have I got here? I've got. Um, uh, let's have a. Let's have a. Um, Oh, I've got a call coming in. Let's, let's see who this is. Hello, caller. Oh, hi. Hi, um, Basil. How are you? Very well, thank you. Who's calling, please? Um, this is Beth. I'm I'm calling. Um, and if people can go by Healthy Pig Face, I'd like a new name. I'd like to be called Uncle Boring. Uncle Boring? Yes, thanks. If that's okay, I'd like to be. Uh, I'd like to reinvent myself as Uncle Boring. No more, Beth. Uh, Uncle Boring. Yeah. Well, thank what's you. what's um, happened? Obviously, um, Healthy Pig Face is trying to bait me out. She's just dangling this in front of my face, and I'm not going to rise to it. So I'm going to change the subject, and I'm just going to ask you for your opinion on something. If that's okay. Yes, it is. Um, the other day when I was um, on my way home from work a couple of weeks ago, I saw um, a seagull eat an entire dead crow. Uh, dead. And I just, it was huge. And I just wondered if you thought that was an omen about my life and if you thought I was the seagull or the crow in that. And maybe if Healthy Pig Face was also one of them. Um, 
I think I think um, were you the were you the dead crow or the um, I think I think you were the you were the seagull. Do you like seagulls? Do you reckon? Yeah. Well, there is a lot near where I live, and they are getting massive. They're like getting the size of a thigh around here. <laughs> thigh size. I, thigh. I love them. I love a seagull. I think they're charming. You should have seen it. I actually stopped and watched it for honestly about five minutes, and then I I. I took myself away because I, people could see. I could see people looking at me watching it. It was horrific. Was, was no one else watching? Just you? I didn't look around me because I was too busy looking at the seagull and crow scene. Um, but it wasn't even biting it into bits. It was just shaking it and swallowing and shaking it and swallowing. And I was thinking, this is going to end at some point, and it didn't. And then I just thought, is this me? Am I the crow? It's like yeah. um, uh, snakes that do that. A certain is it what, a cobra? I can't remember. Well, certain snakes they eat uh, big things and they just squash them into their mouths and uh, into yeah. their belly in one big lump. It was it was something. I don't even know how to describe it. But I just wanted to get your opinion on it, really, because it's really stayed with me. You can probably hear from my voice. So oh well, I, I, I wouldn't worry about it. It's uh, it's nature, isn't it? Nature. That's what nature. Seagulls are winged asbos. You need to watch them. That's uh, David Edwards' advice. They are. When I this is actually true, and if you Google it, you can find it. Um, I'll stop talking about seagulls eating things in a second. But there's actually where I live in Paynton, um, a story in the newspaper because someone a cr uh, seagull picked up someone's chihuahua and killed it. What the hell? Did did yeah. uh, um, how did they know it was the seagull? Did someone see it happen? Well, then there was all basically there's a big story in the newspaper about it. But then then a bit later on, apparently it kind of came out that maybe it wasn't a true story. Yeah, um, I was suspicious. Yeah, it was a little bit suspicious. But, you get, um, you get mean, a lot of suspicious thought, stories about what seagulls have done and, and foxes as well. They reckon foxes, some of you hear stories about foxes crept in the cat flap and they dragged the baby out. And, um, what? And uh, it's all, they're all made up because people don't like foxes. Oh, yeah, there's a story, isn't there, about in um, Australia because I actually really love true crime about a dingo eating a baby, but then it didn't actually eat the baby. Yeah. People mostly are yeah. bastards, aren't they? Animals yeah. are just getting on with their uh, lives, minding their own business, eating each other, and, uh, and then we start mm -hmm. blaming them for um, our troubles. But this is actually true, because I can tell you that if someone told me they saw a seagull eat a crow, I'd say, OK, try me tomorrow, thank you. But I actually witnessed it with my own uh, eyes. It was horrendous. I didn't see how it ended because I honestly had to drive on. But it was it was did awful. Did you did you see how it, be how it began? Was the was the uh, crow already dead? Was it when you got there? It was already dead, and I don't wear I should wear glasses, but I don't wear glasses because I always forget them. So I'm that's not very good for my driving. So we'll just pretend that didn't you didn't hear that. But um. I was like looking across the road and it was shaking something and then the thing was like moving really unnaturally and honestly at the point I saw it it had a whole wing hanging out of its mouth but everything else had gone in. Lovely. Anyway, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about driving without your glasses. It's a it's a government policy. Yeah, I know, but sometimes I work for Specsavers to do the hearing stuff. Uh, so I mean it's not a very good advert for it, is it? No. Um, but I mean, as I'm talking, I remember when I called last week, you kind of said I brought the tone of the stream down and now I'm kind of um, thinking maybe I've done it again. No, not at all. I've been uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. I, I, I've enjoyed picturing the the, the, the gull eating the uh, crow, gulping it, it down. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. And if I could go back and film it for you, I would. Oh, well, never mind. I, I don't need to. It's, it's in my um, Basil Singer song. Um, JC Escobar says, yeah, "Basil, sing a song." A a I've got, um, I've got, um, I got, a, I can't, I can't. Um, Twitch are very funny with their um, rules on songs and uh, playing music and stuff. Yeah, that's maybe you could just pen a song about a seagull and a crow, something like that. It sounds really, it sounds poetic. I think I've got, a, I've got a pre-recorded song that I've that I've made. Have on, you? I'll, I'll do that. Well, I'll, Why don't you I'll play that. Me and leave me. I'll bow out, and um, I'll just leave you on that note. Yes. Well, thanks. Thanks for calling. Please do call uh, again anytime you like, Uncle Bob. Not Uncle Bob. What was you called? Uncle Boring. Uncle Thank Boring. You. Uncle Boring. Cheers, Double B. 
thank you. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye, mate. Bye. There she goes. There she goes. Uh, Uncle, Uncle Boring. Boring Bob. Uncle Boring Bob. I'm going to play. Um, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to get around to playing the game. I've got on here. I've got the. Um, I've got. The, I've got another uh, one of these. Um, if you saw the last Twitch, I did some uh, looking around the human body. I'm fascinated by the human body. What how it works, the insides and outsides. Uh, well, the outsides you get. I like the outsides. You, you get to. Um, Basil, uh, life is the game. Fuck your games, Jay says. But fuck your games. She just. She just wants a song. Obsessed with the human uh, body game. I've got another one. No, no, I've got I've got another one now. I've downloaded another uh, thing with the human body, and uh, so I love I love trying to look at what's uh, going on inside, and um, and I've got another game called Dear Esther. Dear, Esther, but I can't make it out. So uh, you wander around and uh, you have to discover things. Uh, so I might give that a go sometime. But but I'll just, just stick the song on and. Um, and I'm, I'm going to quickly uh, have a one minute one minute break while I um, find the song and have a, and have a drink. Uh, so if you want to if you want to go for a piss quickly, go and do it now. Be back in. Uh, I'll be back in one minute. Hello, sorry about that. I uh, hope you uh, hope you had a chance to uh, get to the toilet and a cup of tea. So if I grab that up for a loo break, a loo break. Get comfortable. Put your um, put your comfy clothes on. Take your underwear off, and uh, and, and enjoy yourself. Uh, not sure what's the time how long i've been going uh 45 minutes i like to do i like to try and do an hour um i think it's, it's long enough isn't it mm. right this um i'm gonna mention i'm gonna mention um uh jc escapade last week she um she's uh um Done some art. Done some art. She's done uh, pictures of uh, Cumbo, Brian Gittins, David Edwards, and uh, and Charles. Um, and it's and it's to raise. Uh, she's trying to raise some money because poor old uh, Charles the robot. He went mad. He splashed out hundreds of pounds all over um, all over the Twitch. All over. Uh, I think it was David. Oh, what was it? I can't remember. Who it was at the time. But anyway. He, um, he, uh, he he made a he made a, a silly silly robot mistake and he pressed the wrong button and he and he um and he uh, spent hundreds of pounds uh, all over all over anyway let's have a quick look at let's have a quick look at these photos and um that's the uh, that's the that's the combo that's the combo one these are going to be um for sale she's going to she, uh, JC Escobase is selling. She's made. She's made all this lovely art. She's and uh, and she's going to um, 
sell them, uh, and all the profits are going to go to Charles the robot. And because uh, he, because he's a, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a lovely robot, and he, he doesn't deserve to be out of pocket um, for a silly. Uh, he just did, did a silly twitch, so right at the wrong moment. And uh, and uh, talking to Charles the robot, let's uh, let's uh, let's have a look at him. There he is. There he is. Oh, so he's talking about the, uh, there we are. Test, 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 test. That's a uh, that's Charles. Uh, let's um, let's get rid let's get let's get rid of uh, that one and let's stick up. Uh, no one's on there. Brian Gittins. That's Brian Gittins. Focus. Uh, Pratt. That's uh, that's Brian Gittins. Uh, everyone 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 loves Brian Gittins and that's another one. And finally. Finally, uh, she's done. Uh, who haven't I showed you yet? Um, oh, it's, uh, there we are. There he is. He called up. He called up uh, earlier. Let's say that. Wonderful, isn't it? It goes without saying. There's, there's, there's the uh, marvelous uh, David Edwards. And uh, so you can get all these uh, off of um, JC Escapades. She's selling them all, and then uh, all the profits go to Charles to, to pay back all these uh, uh, all these uh, losses. So that's uh, so that's that. And she's going to uh, we'll let you know more about it. I'll do another show on this Sunday at um, Sunday at five. I think it's five, five, five. Yeah, five o'clock Sunday. Uh, I'll be back and uh, give, I'll give you um, give you the um, the website where you can go and buy these. Uh, they're going to be some prints and uh, some photos. You know, oh, I don't know what she's going to do, but she'll let you know all about it then. I'll know more about it then. This I'm going to play you. Um, she, she, uh, if I don't, Jay says she says for crying out loud. What have I? Uh, have I, have I uh, done something wrong? I don't know. Have I done something wrong? Probably. And uh, I'm going to play a song. I'm going to play a song. This is a song that I recorded some time ago. I uh, uh, wrote it. That's an Edwards quote. Oh, sorry. Uh, crying out loud. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 stop pointing. I'm going to I'm going to play a song that I recorded um, uh, some time ago. And uh, I, I wrote it. I, I played the music myself. I wrote the lyrics, sung it all, and it, it's it's called the Basil Butler. It's a bit. It's a bit. Uh, uh, anyway, the idea of it is is that um, is that um, I thought I might be a, uh, make money out of being a pop star, and uh, I thought uh, it's a dance song. You see, so I thought. Called the Basil Bottler, it could be like the new dance, like like the Macarena or something. But it's called the Basil Bottler, and everyone and it becomes famous, and everyone wants to do uh, the Basil Bottler. And uh, so anyway, that, that was the idea. But it's it's no, it hasn't done any good. But I thought I'd play it on here anyway, because um, uh, twenty four seven, twenty five eight. Who's that? Who says twenty five eight? Anyway, um, sorry, I keep reading the. Uh, I've written a poem. I would love to donate to Charles Aid. Yes, yes. It will, uh, send send you send a poem uh, in. Uh, I love I love a bit of poetry. I I I, I love the romantic poets like Shelley. Uh, that's, that's my cup of tea. Because uh, I am a, I'm a, I'm a very romantic, very romantic person. Uh, fearless. I'm fearless. I'm a fearless, fearless explorer. I'll do any. I'll get, there's nothing that I won't try. Uh, maybe not. Maybe nothing up my anus. But I'll try. I try uh, a lot of things. Uh, I guess mine is not the first heartbroken. Oh, it's a poem. It's a poem there. Is it a poem? Guess my. Oh no, it's not. Is it a poem? Let's scroll back down here. This is a uh, Emac. Uh, guess mine is not the first heart broken. My eyes are not the first to cry. I'm not the first to know there's uh, just no getting over you. You know I'm just a fool who's willing to sit around and wait for you. But baby, can't you see there's nothing else for me to do? I'm hopelessly devoted to you. Healthy pig face, uh, 2020. Sounds familiar. Is it Greece or something? Um, anyway, or um, Saturday Night Fever. I don't know. It sounds like one of those uh, 
I thoroughly enjoyed it. Anyway, let's, let's play my song. Uh, this, this, um, hang on. This, uh, here we go. Uh, if you fancy dancing to this, get up. Uh, get up and have a, and have a let's scroll down here. Yeah. Get up and have a dance around the room. Uh, 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 here, we, oh, yeah. here we go. Here it is. Hope you can hear it. Let me know if you can't hear it. Or if you just me listening to it. Too loud, no. Here we go. My name is Basil Butler, burning up the dance floor. You don't need no John Travolta, cause I break every dance law. Get down with Basil Butler, you don't need to see my face. I'm the mystery man of dancing, just back in from outer space. This is the Basil Butler, it's a brand new dance style. This is the Basil Butler, get on the dance floor now. Just got back from another planet, was only there for seven hours. They probed me anally and now, dancing is my superpower. Come, dance the Basil Butler, a new dance from outer space. You can dance it when you're sober or right off your fucking face. This is the Basil Butler, it's a brand new dance style. This is the Basil Butler, get on the dance floor now. The Basil Butler, a new dance from outer space. You can dance it when you're sober or right off your fucking face. This is the Basil Butler, it's a brand new dance style. This is the Basil Butler, get on the dance floor now. There goes my hat again. Come dance the Basil Butler, a new dance from outer space. You can dance it when you're sober, or right off your fucking face. This is the Basil Butler, it's a brand new dance style. This is the Basil Butler, get on the dance floor now. Come dance the Basil Butler, a new dance from outer space. You can dance it when you're sober, or right off your fucking face. This is the Basil Butler, it's a brand new dance style. This is the Basil Butler, get on the dance floor now. I've been lip syncing the whole thing. dance from outer space you can dance it when you're sober or right off your fucking face this is the basil butler it's a brand new dance style this is the basil butler get on the dance floor now come dance the basil butler a new dance from outer space you can dance it when you're sober or right off your fucking face this is the basil butler it's a brand new dance style this is the basil butler get on the dance floor now I hope you're enjoying my uh, lip sync to that one. I hope you enjoyed that. It's, uh, I've just put a bit of echo on there for, uh, for no particular reason. This, uh, this man is a bloody genius. I'm loving this. Thank you very, thank you very, thank you very much, Dave, David uh, Edwards. Uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Brilliant. Becky uh, Erin Norman liked it. Uh, um, once it on again, uh, uh, Bobby Chump says. Pop popular, that song then, wasn't it? Uh, um, I'm not playing it again. Um, I play, remember that another time. I can play you, uh, I can play, uh, what can I play? Yeah, I can play you that. And uh, uh, after the lovely song, lovely song, Basil. One, wonderful, uh, Basil. Like, like my, uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is how I see myself. It's not. It's not focused, is he? This new camera's good. I better. There he is. There, there he is. That's what I look like uh, in uh, in a spacesuit. 
So that that uh, I'm hoping I was hoping that song would get on to uh, I better sell it on iTunes, but uh, uh, I don't know. Like I thought it would take off. That that would be the the, the big uh, summer hit on the dance floors. Thought the dance floors are shut because uh, of the virus. So no one's doing the Basil Butler. And uh, anyway, that's that's how I see myself floating in space. See, this is a. Uh, I'm I'm not as I was talking to, to uh, David um, Edwards earlier when I was um, talking about being Ash floating up in space with uh, David Bowie. Ground control to Major Tom, your circuit's dead. There's something wrong, can you hear me, Major Tom? Can you hear me, Major Tom? Here am I sitting in my tin can, far above the world. Planet Earth is blue. And there's nothing I can do. Fuck all. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes, Basil. Basil floating away in space. Imagine that. That's that. So uh, that's, I've decided that's definitely how, that's definitely how I want to go. Floating away in space, uh, uh, like like a good one. With David Bowie, us up there, and then one day, one day, um, the, the world's greatest living performer. Uh, where's my badge? My badge keeps falling off. There he is, world's greatest living performer. Because David uh, uh, Bowie is dead, unfortunately. This is a uh, gone but not forgotten. But David Essex is very much alive, and uh, he's the greatest living performer now. So one day, when he's dead, let's hope he gets uh, sent up. Up uh, into into uh, into space. Then we have a threesome of ashes. It'd be David Bowie, David Essex, uh, me, Basil Butler, all intermingling, uh, going round and round the planet. With David Edwards as well. When once he's dead, don't, don't like to think of him dying, but uh, I suppose he'll have to eventually. Uh, and he'll be sent up there too. And with all four of us, we'll be having a foursome of of, um, of, of intergalactic uh, ash um, entwining. Be be. Uh, well, lovely. Mm. And Waft Lord says, and Lyca. Yes, Lyca's up there. Lyca the dog. Poor, poor Lyca. Sent into space and um, uh, and uh, never came back. Uh, well, I've run out, I've run out of time, really. To, I was going to have a quick... Um, let's, let's have a quick... Let's have a quick look at the iPad uh, before I go. Uh, and uh, where are we? What one do we want? Let's have a quick look at the uh, quick look at the iPad, and then we'll. Um, uh, there we go. Oh, I've got to put the thing on there so you can see it. Okay. There we are. Can you see that? That's the uh, human body. Finish off with a quick look at the human body before I before I say goodbye. I'll be back again on uh, Sunday at. Five o'clock, five o'clock, late afternoon, early evening. Be back then, and um, I'll have, have, have a lot more fun in the um, in Basil's secret underground dark stream. This is where this is this is the part of the um, this is the part of just just checking that I've uh, uh, I mentioned that didn't I? I mentioned uh, uh, the art. Yes, mentioned the art, uh, and uh, just made a note to mention the art. And I made a note of what this is called. Basil's secret underground dark stream. No one knows about it, apart from a few people here. Uh, and because uh, it's, uh, it's it's where anything goes, and no one knows about it. Because it's, it's um, I'm going to waste shut up about that. Let's have a quick look at the human body, just for a minute, and then I'll, then I'll say goodbye. And uh, I've got a website, by the way, basilbutler.com. Go and have a look, go and have a look around that. And uh, uh, here we are, human body. It's the, it's here, here he is again, the man with no hair, apart from my eyebrows. He's got no, um, uh, there he is from behind. He's got no hair on his uh, genitals or, t or top of his head. Not on his head, not on his body. He's just got eyebrows. Anyway, there he is. I'll leave you, leave you with him. Let's, let's, have a, let's do a quick spin around with him. There he is. 
There he goes. He's a, he's a fine specimen. There he is. There's the man uh, from last week. He's a, he'll, he'll do a bit of that. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he'll float about a bit for you. Bit like, bit like Basil in space. Um, but I'll have my space suit on. I, I, well, I'll, I'll, um, in my rocket, of course. Unless I'm dead, then I'll just be ash. I certainly won't be floating around in space with a penis out. Uh, there we are. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's uh, let's, uh, let's let's leave it at that. And um, up his bum, someone said, "Let's." Uh, he hasn't got. A, he hasn't got. A, he hasn't got much of a bum. Has he? Hello, caller. Hi, Basil. Do you have time for something really quickly? I appreciate yeah. if you need to go. No, no, there's no, there's no uh, rush. Okay, well, maybe if I could say a couple of words, and I don't know if you want to do some, like, zooming in or whatever. Yeah, of course. Along with the words, okay. I'll, I'll just do it quickly, but... Okay, okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for your words. Okay, I won't say who they're for, but I think they'll know. Um, okay. okay, let's take it away. Give us your words. Come and... Oh, sorry, okay. off you go. Come and hold my hand. I want to contact the living. Not sure I understand this role I've been given. I sit and talk to God, and he just laughs at my plans. My head speaks the language. Sorry, it's very emotional. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Carry on. Okay. It just means a lot. I don't understand. I just want to feel real love feel the home that I live in because I've got too much life running through my veins going <laughs> sorry running through my veins going to waste I don't want to die but I ain't keen on living either before I fall in love I'm preparing to leave her thank you so much battle <laughs> sorry love, lovely lovely stuff thank you very much there she goes a healthy pig face no uncle uncle Bob uncle Bert Uncle uh, Albert, I think I've, I've, I've uh, completely forgotten. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll be back again. Uh, thanks for thanks for your calls. Thanks thanks for your uh, all the writing in the uh, all the all the messages in the in the box. I'll have a, I'll have to read them later because I didn't I didn't get to read a lot of them. Especially thank you to uh, David Edwards for, for for calling in. That was a lovely surprise. Uh, and uh, and and everyone else who called in thanks thank you very much for, for everybody for uh, everything and uh, that's that's uh, that's enough of that so uh, uh, i'll see you on thursday thursday uh, evening at five o'clock uh, uh, so uh, see you later What did I say? Sunday at uh, 5 o'clock. Sunday at 5 o'clock. Thank you very much.